Okay guys, this is uh, Itsu again. Uh, I made some progress with my uh, with my joke. Uh, I made some new copper plates. I wound a 15 turn coil. Today I have finished the 50 turn coil across the 15 turn. And I completed also again the uh, other half, the output coil, <coughs> 150 turns by filer, connected in series. I put uh, some paper in between the two halves, both sides, and I strapped them together with some rubber bands. And this is the way it looks. A neat package and I want to make some uh, measurements now <coughs> like being suggested on the forum uh, I have um, set my uh, function generator to square wave I cannot adjust the uh, duty cycle so it's 50% duty, duty cycle uh, at 25 volts peak to peak and the frequency is uh, almost 20 hertz and uh, I have hooked a red probe across the, uh, the output I will now connect it uh, to the copper strip but you will see that uh, the square wave will collapse because of uh, what do we have the very low Im impedance of the uh, of the copper strip where am I Okay, so I have hooked up uh, the probe and uh, the function generator on the copper strip. The signal is uh, collapsed totally, so I have to. I have now some spikes, some peaks at about uh, 3 volt, 3.5 volts. Channel 1, still the 19. Uh, almost 20 hertz uh, so I will hook up now my yellow probe to first the uh, 15 turns and I have to adjust the scope now a little bit to see what kind of ringing effect I've got there it comes so this is the ringing effect I get on the 15 turn coil when pulsing it in the copper strip with uh, with uh, yeah, something like uh, 1.6 volt volts at 20 Hertz and the outcome is that uh, I have something ringing around 13 14 megahertz on the channel to connect it to there's some ringing there too there's a different frequency uh, it just picks up the the strongest signal this one so I think my uh, uh, I have some resonance point here at the 15 turns on the 14 uh, megahertz okay I will now connect uh, the yellow scope uh, probe to the 50 five zero turns and you can see that something changes so it's ringing now on a different frequency and when I zoom in I can see that uh, the ringing frequency is now 1.2 megahertz 
zoals je fact, factor 10 lower than the 15 turns and finally I can uh, hook up uh, the yellow probe to the uh, secondary do it now and we yet have another frequency showing and this is the frequency 145 kilohertz so this looks like the resonance frequency of the uh, the secondary coil so yeah I pulse the copper strip and where I measure I measure on all the three coils a different uh, ringing uh, frequency let's have a look at the FTT FFT I have to go to channel 2 because that's now where the action is I'm now at 15 megahertz in the center so I don't see a distinctive peak here Let's zoom in a little bit. And now it's 6 megahertz in the center. Okay, I can change the yellow probe to again the 50, the 50 turn coil. And I see here something in uh, at the 1.24 uh, scale. It's in the center. And that's similar that uh, we had before, I think. So this is uh, looks okay. This is similar, no distinctive peaks. And now I go to the uh, 15 turn coil. To see if we can see something there specific it was ringing at uh, 13 14 megahertz the midpoint now is 31 megahertz I see some signals coming up around uh, what is it 40 megahertz perhaps a local radio ham I have one peak in the middle here to adjust it this is 22 megahertz but uh, not sure what it is Okay, well, yet again, not very uh, decisive. Uh, one single peak I can find here for the resonance frequency of the uh, of the core or for the of the yoke, the ferrite, why we are looking for. So, okay, I have to continue testing and uh, see if I have some other methods. But this is one of the the methods suggested on on the forum. Okay, see you later.